Welcome to the CSN channel. Our topic for today is the benefits of magnesium. I'm sure that you will be surprised to hear what magnesium could do for you. My name is Abu Zar Habibini. I have an MD degree and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sport Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSN channel on YouTube to enjoy the information that we share on a weekly basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness, and sport nutrition. Okay, today I am going to talk about the benefits of magnesium. I have received many requests to discuss about magnesium. Who could benefit from magnesium? What are the signs and symptoms that you are not getting magnesium into your body? Today, definitely, you will learn about it. Magnesium is one of the most important and essential minerals in the body. It is the fourth abundant mineral in human body. Actually, magnesium is involved in the functions of over 300 enzymes. That means there are over 300 enzymes in human bodies that to do better job, they need magnesium. Magnesium has many functions in the body. Here are just few of them. To help regulate body temperature, to help you adapt stress, protein synthesis, muscle building, muscle uh, relaxation, energy release, and even helping you adjust blood pressure. You can see that magnesium is involved in many, many functions, and definitely today I'm gonna list the medical conditions that could benefit from magnesium. In terms of food sources, magnesium, could be found in the dark green leafy vegetables, legumes, seeds, nuts, especially uh, almonds, uh, Brazilian nuts, whole grains. It is interesting to know that an average normal person has about 25 grams of magnesium in his body. And out of 25 grams, 65 person is in the bones and teeth, and the remaining 35 person is in the blood, brain, and other body fluids. And when you are having magnesium through your foods, uh, do not expect that your body is gonna be able to absorb all of them. I mean, your body cannot absorb 100% of the magnesium you are getting through your foods. Your body is gonna be able to absorb maximum 40 to 50 percent the absorption of magnesium in the body is going to happen in the middle section and the last uh, section of the small intestine vitamin d can increase the absorption of uh, magnesium but there are other nutrients and factors that they can lower the absorption of magnesium like oxalate alcohol caffeine too much protein, actually too much calcium, and even phytic acid, they can lower the absorption of magnesium. Magnesium, to do better job in our bodies, need vitamin B6. So if you are going to take magnesium for any reason that we gotta discuss uh, today, definitely I, I suggest that you mix it with vitamin B6. But what are the signs and symptoms of magnesium deficiency? You know, right now if you go to your medical doctor and you ask them to do a checkup and they include over their magnesium, your magnesium level most probably is going to turn out to be within normal range. But to have a normal magnesium level in the blood doesn't mean that you are not lacking magnesium because your body is picking up from magnesium from the storage which is the bone and is releasing into the blood and when they're doing blood work they can check only the magnesium in the blood what about the other part of the body that's why to have a normal level of magnesium does not mean at all that you are not basically needing any magnesium unfortunately up to 80 percent of people they are uh, missing some sort of uh, Magnesium, I mean up to 80% of people, uh, they are lacking some degree magnesium. Their body doesn't have enough magnesium. Here are the few signs and symptoms that maybe you are missing magnesium in your body. 
if you have asthma and your asthma cannot be controlled if you have a strong desire and craving for sweets and carbohydrates probably you are missing magnesium if you are suffering from recurrent kidney stone you know you had a kidney stone two years ago you developed another one this year right there, there are lots of people that like this they keep developing uh, basically kidney stone maybe they are missing magnesium your energy level is low in general and you go to see your doctor and they do complete blood work they cannot find anything maybe you are missing magnesium depression there are substantial evidences that actually magnesium can help adjust your mood excessive sweating there are lots of people that they sweat a lot in their armpits in their hands even around their mouth and they can't find the reason maybe you are missing magnesium or you are physically active person and you keep developing cramps maybe you are missing magnesium you can see that magnesium uh, deficiency could have a wide range of sign and symptoms but let's see who could benefit from magnesium i'm gonna start with those people that are physically active let's go with athletes first uh, I'm going to put in here, here are the athletic benefits of uh, magnesium. It's going to help athletes with muscle building. So I'm going to put in here muscle building. Number two, post exercise exhaustion. You know, sometimes you have uh, a very long training session or you did some sort of sport and after that you definitely you are exhausted could be because of the magnesium number three uh, we call it pre competition anxiety i'm gonna have definitely video about uh, this pre competition anxiety this is very common among those athletes basically who compete at highest level they suffer from pre competition anxiety magnesium is gonna help them and uh, number four and definitely uh, cramps these are the top four benefits of magnesium among athletes in those people basically they are physically active but let's see to whom you could recommend magnesium okay I'm gonna put in here with a different color okay let's go one by one migraine okay there are lots of evidence that if you are basically if you are uh, deficient in magnesium you may develop migraine headache tension headache people with tension headache definitely they benefit from uh, magnesium number three PMS premenstrual syndrome number four I'm gonna put in here a uh, painful menstruation if you have painful menstruations uh, definitely magnesium uh, can decrease that uh, the severity of uh, pain number uh, five painful actually painful intercourse painful sex especially in woman could be a sign that maybe you are not getting enough magnesium number six chronic fatigue syndrome if you are suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome if you have been diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome and they can't find a reason for that maybe you are missing magnesium uh, number seven depression as I said there are lots of evidence that actually uh, magnesium deficiency can show itself you know having low mood number eight anxiety anxiety uh, number nine osteoporosis definitely uh, magnesium has a key role in uh, basically bone density number ten I'm gonna put in a high blood pressure if you have high blood pressure definitely magnesium is gonna help you to adjust your blood pressure better because magnesium has muscle relaxing effect 
It's interesting to know that magnesium can relax all, all muscles, striated muscles, the muscles you have in your legs, arms, and even smooth muscles, the muscles in your artery, the muscle in your intestine, the muscle in your bladder, your uterine, your radar. Definitely, magnesium can uh, help you lower your uh, blood pressure. Uh, number 11, asthma. If you are lacking magnesium, you may have difficulty controlling and managing your asthma. Number 12, people with uh, diabetes. Almost all people with diabetes, they are magnesium deficient, some sort of, especially if you are using insulin. You see, you have diabetes, your magnesium level is low, they put you on magnesium, they put you on insulin, then your magnesium level is gonna go even lower. And when you have low level of magnesium, you're gonna start craving for carbs and sweets. Definitely lots of people they cannot control themselves. They're gonna have him, blood pressure is gonna go up, they're gonna add your insulin. So you end up in a vicious cycle. And uh, number 13, insomnia. Definitely magnesium is good for those people they suffer from insomnia magnesium is good for those people they have difficulty falling asleep they have difficulty staying asleep magnesium is gonna help them uh, number i'm gonna put in a number uh, 14 magnesium is good for those people with uh, glaucoma in glaucoma the pressure inside the eye globe is higher is gonna help them Number uh, 15, excessive sweating. If there is a someone around you, the person is complaining that I sweat a lot in my armpits, hands, I'm sick or tired of this. I have seen, you know, a few doctors, dermatologists, they have given me, you know, those uh, topical lotions, creams, and they are not working. Maybe you are suffering from magnesium deficiency. And number 16, kidney stones. Okay, I'm gonna have definitely video about kidney stones in the future. But if you are among those people that who, you know, keep developing kidney stones, you know, in, in a few years, if you take magnesium, magnesium basically could prevent up to 9% from developing kidney stone of calcium type, not the other ones. And we know that kidney stones of a calcium type are the most common type of kidney stones. Uh, number 17, people with epilepsy. They can definitely benefit from uh, magnesium. Number 18, people fit, uh, with fibromyalgia. People with fibromyalgia. They can benefit from uh, magnesium. And what else left? Uh, number 19, autism. You know, magnesium could help people with autism. And uh, finally, uh, number 20, ADHD. Those children who suffer from attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or adults who suffer from uh, attention uh, deficit disorder, ADD, magnesium could be beneficial for them. And finally, there are substantial evidence that there is a strong relation between magnesium and certain cancers, especially blood cancer. There is a strong relation between magnesium deficiency and lymphoma of the intestine. As you can see, there is a long list of medical conditions that could benefit from magnesium. In our next video, I'm going to talk about dose, potential side effects, and different forms of magnesium. I really hope that you learn something interesting today because we make science easy to understand. Now you know. If you don't want to miss our weekly video, you can subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube to support us you can share, like, or comment on this video. Until next time, stay safe, stay connected.